Well, welcome to the program. Howdy. Good to see all of you. How are you? I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly, and welcome to Cook and Cheap. Good to see. Letters. Oh, yes. We got a Christmas card. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, real cute with a barn on it. Uh, it says to all of the staff here, I guess that's Doris and Harold and everybody, uh, said that your Christmas show was great and God bless your efforts and they were appreciated. And that's from, uh, I wish I could read this person's name, Bernie Arjanet and Chris Radford from Radford, Virginia. Well, thanks so much. Thank you, thank you. Dear guys, thanks for working so hard to entertain Central Virginia. Don't let the neat nicks get you down. That's from Tom and Sue of Bedford. Thank you. Ooh, we got a letter. I didn't even bring it today. It was so rude. <laughs> uh, that somebody just took us over the coals and said the very idea of that we were making light of fine food and we should never do that. <laughs> get over it. This is not fine food. This is good food, but it's not fine food. Oh, these people without a sense of humor. And the gutless wonder didn't even have the guts to sign their name. They typed it, typed everything on the letter, and, and of course, didn't put a disgusted viewer. They, they wouldn't, even, <laughs> wouldn't even say where they were from. Well, disgusted oh. viewers never have names. No, no, right. they don't have the nerve to do it. This one says, dear, this is from Vicki Ham in Norton, Virginia. Dear, Larry and Laban, I love to watch you cook. I would like for you to cook a fried chicken recipe. I'm in the fourth grade and nine years old. I watch you every day. I sent you something. It is in the envelope. Sincerely, Vicki Ham. And this is what Vicki sent us, and it's a little card with Garfield on it. Oh. And uh, Garfield, the only cat I love. And uh, that, it's real nice, and a little note on the inside of that, too. So, Vicki, thanks a lot. Dear Cooking Cheap, I enjoy your show. This is from a, a viewer down in, I believe this is, how would you say that? Seminole, Florida? Seminole? I guess it I is. I bet it's I'm supposed a... to be Seminole and they've got it spelled wrong. <laughs> <It's one laughs> <of these little, laughs> anyway, uh, it says, enjoy your show. Please send recipe, blah, 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 blah. Especially enjoy your guest. Larry, you didn't slice the butter either as any chef. I've learned from all something ingredients are laid on the chopping board or plate cutting downward instead of slicing toward the hands. Well, I'm sorry. I'm an old country cook and where I come from, if you want to pick up butter and slice it toward your hands, you do. You notice I still have all 10 fingers after 41 years. Darling, please, Larry, <laughs> don't put Laban down to build up your own ego. <laughs> It is so disrespectable. Ah, uh, <laughs> I've had it for years at home and it hurts mentally. <laughs> I didn't know why some people do this for a long time. And then that's the end of the letter. She doesn't tell me. She doesn't tell me why people do this. From <laughs> Jay Boren of Seminole, Florida. Thank you very much. Well, knucklehead, come on. Let's go <laughs> to the kitchen and see what we can do. Oh, was I disrespectable? I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to do something real quick and then I'm going to quit for a while. I know right. you, no, you, you go right ahead. You say I just got these, started, but I didn't. These are easy little recipes today. I what have are fried you doing? some bacon. Well, I'm going to do something called salsa green beans and pre fried some bacon so it's nice and crisp and, and you can take it and crumble it to, a, to the touch. All right, put that aside. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the bacon grease that that's in and we're going to fry some. Uh, some onions. I'm going to chop some onions up and fry those. And in the meantime, over here, I have some what was <laughs> once boiling water, now scummy water. The very famous and ever popular scummy water. Didn't Johnny Rivers uh, record that song? He did. I, I washed my hands in scummy, scummy water. water. Now, what I did was it took a little over a pound of green beans, and I've already snapped them and washed them for you fanatics out there that think that I'm just going to dump these right out of something into there. I, I've, I can assure you they have been thoroughly cleaned and washed and everything and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil those for the duration. I believe I got a lot more than that and I have water. Well I'm gonna go get some more water. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna do for now. I'll tell you the rest later if you're lucky. Well we're like doing it. sauces today so I'm feeling real saucy and I'm gonna do two salad dressings. And both of these have blue cheese in them so for those of you that love blue cheese dressing and that is the favorite uh, kind of dressing in restaurants all over the country, believe it or not. Not creamy Italian, which is everybody's house brand in the South. Um, the first one is just a plain old blue cheese dressing. It's real easy to do. 
And uh, this, I'm going to put a cup that's eight ounces of cottage cheese, and I'm using small curd. Isn't that a wonderful name, curd? I knew a boy in school named Lou Curd, and then there's lemon curd that's real good to go in little cake things. Oh, Kurdistan, right. <laughs> and Curtis, we know a guy named Curtis. Uh, anyway, you need to mash it up. And the, the small curd is already mashed up pretty good. And to that, we're going to add a half a cup of blue cheese. And this is your blue cheese. And you know that blue cheese usually is, is a cheese that is cured uh, in Europe in caves with the natural mold built through it. In this country, they inject it most places. I'm sure this is what this is. What do they inject it with, Johnson? Mold. Hmm. They use needles, just like a doctor giving shots to somebody. And uh, I need a half a cup of Boutra milk. And let's see. There we go, there's the buttermilk goes in there. And I need a tablespoon of juice of the lemon. There we go. And a little bit of salt. Fourth of a teaspoon of salt, there that is. And you really could leave that out, I suspect, if you had a salt problem because it's, the blue cheese is very salty. And then you have to mash all of that together. And I'm gonna use my potato masher to do that with and that gives you a delicious blue cheese salad dressing and if it's too thick uh, you can thin it out with a little uh, buttermilk. Easy, easy, easy. And that's, I think I am going to put a little more buttermilk in that but it's real simple and that's the way to make a real tasty blue cheese dressing. Larry? Huh. Well. Wow. I'm frying some onions over here and I'm chopping them. And until I get the things chopped and the beans boiling and what have you, it's just not an awful lot I can do. <laughs> it's about all there is to this recipe. Laban. Doris, have you got a, another bowl over Sounds there? Sounds like we're you? calling the roll down oh, here, I doesn't know. it? Uh -huh. When the roll is called up yonder. Well, I, I am taking advantage of, of this fine uh, bacon grease, and I am frying the onions in there. Oh, someone has caught me doing that with a knife again. Oh. Well, just so many things you can do wrong on oh, this I show. Oh, I use a lot smaller. I tend to do every one of them today if I humanly possibly can. Now, just fry those until they get real waxy. Waxy looking. Now, while you're doing all that, you can be doing some other things too. Take your uh, take your bacon, which has been uh, blotted, I suppose, for lack of anything else, and uh, start just crumbling that up with your fingers, because you're going to need it all crumbled up after a while. And that doesn't really take a genius to do that. You can see how easy that is. For anyone who wants instructions on that, we do have several pages we can send you on. How to crumble <laughs> that up. Okay, that's about it from right. here. Okay, now the next one, I just can't wait to serve to the staff and to Bly because they love it so much. This is a, an anchovy and blue cheese dressing. Mmm, mmm. So, oh I, boy. And our blender, Harold, huh? You're gonna ruin the other yeah, place. Harold uh, Ford tells me, Lair, that our blender is still nigh on to death. He uh -oh. took it home. So I'm using my little teeny food processor, but I'm just going to put in here a can of anchovies, if I can get them I out. suspected that when it couldn't handle a single carrot alone, that uh -huh. it was finished. It was a goner. So there's some anchovies. And I need three tablespoons of red wine, and that's right here. Whoops. All right, that's three tablespoons of red Slotted wine. Spoon. And three tablespoons of lemon juice. You don't have to be terribly precise about this if you're used to cooking and know what things look like. That's about three tablespoons of lemon juice and a half a teaspoon 
of dry mustard. And I gotta have some sugar. <laughs> and how much sugar have I gotta have? Oh, I gotta have a teaspoon of sugar. There's that. And a half a teaspoon of celery salt. I'm so glad they put little things on here now so that you can pry it up and there's I'm the just celery. real concerned. What's wrong? I'm not getting any boiling on my water. It's the only thing I have oh, to I do know. on the entire <laughs> program is boil a little water and it's not uh, doing anything. Where your beans were cold probably from being in your car mm. and that keep the water cold. Being for a in the while. refrigerator all day mm -hmm. so we wouldn't get the sour vanilla and die. Oh I know and we don't want to do that. And now I gotta have some <coughs> teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce that goes in here. Do do do. And a big dash of hot sauce. Now I'm going to blend all of these up so that I can add them to my bowl. Isn't this pretty? <laughs> uh huh. Just, you can't, I know all of you at home can't wait to get home and do that. Now we're going to add four ounces of blue cheese. It, is your a water bowl in there? Well, I don't know. I'm afraid to watch it. You know what they say about a watched pot, so uh -huh. I'm not looking at it anymore for the rest of the show. <laughs> yes, it is. I've got it covered up so it would go along a little bit better. Well, it won't. I need a little bowl, if you don't mind. Oh. I just realized oh, I got it. Oh, I did it. I'm sorry. Out. I'm sorry for all you fanatics out there. I didn't mean to do it. Now, I've got my blue cheese in there, and I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of hot earl. Who? Of hot. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I tell you what, if you'll lick your fingers, I'll say something rude about you. <laughs> something <All> right. mentally <laughs> discouraging. <laughs> oh, that's what I'll oh, shoot. I'm taking these uh, onions out of here now, and I'm saving back. I'm reserving about a tablespoon or so. Oh, the grease, oh. because I need it for bigger and better things <laughs> shortly. Well, now I'm going That's to try all. to do Oh, another attractive color. <laughs> oh, this has got to be one of the prettiest recipes I have ever done on this show. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Can you see that at home in living color? Ooh. That is such an attractive, uh, uh, kind of an elephant gray. <laughs> <laughs> now, you put that down in here with your, your mixture of anchovies. And we're going to mix all of this up together. And you know, Larry, this recipe is as gross as it sounds. Mm -hmm. I can just imagine. Well, my beans are just boiling right along. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I can't wait till well, the end of Well, just go ahead, because I've just mixed this up. And All it's right. What you need to do is you, you pull your beans out and drain them, but they're still boiling. So what you're supposed to do when you get the beans pulled out, is you take three quarters of a cup, that's three quarters of a cup of the juice, and you put it over here in with the bacon grease, of which we had just a little bit of. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar. One, two. And two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. 
and we're going to mix that around a little while, just mess with it for a bit. <laughs> and after we get finished with messing with it, there, we're going to return the onions back to it and the beans back into it and the crumbled uh, bacon. But right now, I've got to turn it up and get it doing something. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's supposed to do something. And mix well. <laughs> so I'm mixing it well. I think I'm going to kind of get it hot again. I'm waiting for my beans to get done. That's the big hang up right now before I can finish this recipe. How long does it take a bean to get done? Not very long. It depends on how, how, how you like them. For instance, you could eat those just like that on a salad. They're still real kind of chewy. But they ought to go just a little bit longer than that, so we're going to cover All them right. back up and well, wait. Well, maybe we could look at the uh, ingredients, the receipts, Yeah, yeah while we're yeah, here. Yeah. Blue cheese dressing, you need a cup of cottage cheese mashed, and it's a lot easier to deal with it if uh, you have got small curd cottage cheese. Hmm. Then you need a half a cup of blue cheese, that's four ounces actually, mashed, a half a cup of buttermilk poured out of the container, a teaspoon, or is that a tablespoon of lemon juice, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, which you could leave out. And the anchovy and blue cheese dressing, you need two-thirds of a cup of vegetable oil, a can of anchovies, including the oil, three tablespoons of red wine, three tablespoons of juice of the young lemons, a half a teaspoon of dry mustard, a half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of celery salt, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a big old dash of hot sauce, and four ounces of blue cheese. And it makes the greatest of plenty. It actually is going to make like two cups or more of salad dressing. Both of these recipes will do that. And that would be the equivalent of probably uh, a large bottle of commercial salad dressing. The saucy green beans, you've got a pound of green beans. You may want to get them fresh and snap them. Four strips of bacon, which you're going to pre uh, cook and until they're crisp because you're going to crumble it all up later on. A tablespoon of chopped onion which goes in there and gets fried, two tablespoons of vinegar and two tablespoons of sugar. Now here's what I'm going to do. All right, well, This is the mixture of just a little bit of the, the leftover grease and uh, the uh, sugar and the vinegar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going <laughs> to get rid of that as delicately as possible. We're going to return the onions back into this and we're going to put the green beans in here. They're, they're edible, believe it or not, they are. You and I kind of like, oh, like yeah. them a little chewy anyway. Now a lot of people in the country would say that's just awful. Those things ain't done. And where I come from they wouldn't be. But then if we'd been here for six days they wouldn't be done. <laughs> Well, you know, people. and of course, Larry, as we said before, and your your crumbled uh, bacon bacon goes back in there, and then you just kind of mix it all around a little bit. Yow, mix it all around a little bit, and pa that's your dish. Part of the trouble about green beans and the way people cook them is that when you and I were youngsters, yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, years ago, uh, the beans that they had did tend to be real tough. And in order to make them possible to eat, you did have to cook them for hours. You All also day. had to string them. And, yeah. you, and you hardly ever get beans anymore that you have to string. You know, they're called string beans in mm -hmm. a lot of places, but you don't have to do that anymore. The strings are off of them. Hmm. So, um, tastes real raw. Is it good? <laughs> do, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to cover that up just for another minute or so. What did I do with that? I threw it here. No, I'll never get that off of no. there. You know I It'll won't. Not only seal. that, but it's going to explode. <laughs> well, that's all right. We'll leave it there. It'll be all right. Perhaps we have Witch Ola coming in soon, yes. do we? Uh -huh. Visit from the witch? Oh, <laughs> pretty close. She's flying in close today. Woo! <laughs> what Look is it? This. Oh my heavens. And she's I believe, damp. I believe we need to send the witch oh, out it to looked the cleaner. Her, her hat is She's a rat. Let's Should we tell it. everybody what happened? <laughs> no. Oh, right. no, go ahead. No. We, we changed uh, we changed water, didn't we? Yeah. She, well, 
she came if swooping I, down at the beginning of the before we started the show and, and fell in my water. <laughs> but we fell right into can of beans. We threw it out. You know, though. if she wasn't swinging, we'd probably get her in there right now without any trouble. But I guess maybe we'd better not. <laughs> oh, these beans are going real yeah. good. Oh, I'm telling you that witch. Oh, and look, look, I never noticed. If you look from here, Bly, you can see <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> So that's what Chicago looks like. I've never been there. I always wanted to know. Oh, well, you've heard about no, yeah, I would say, well, you know, no, that, no, that famous area of Chicago <laughs> <laughs> where all the widows hang out. Oh, this is going great. Now. <laughs> what? This letter says, why a duck quack quack and it's signed Daffy and Donald. I give up. Why a duck? What, I don't know. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Does it, this mean we got to drag out ducks next week? Next week we got ducks. ducks. Let me tell you, there's this guy that works in my department. And you know, some of your good friends work over there, Pat Driscoll and all mm. that. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Ever since I've worked in this particular department of the, the city here, uh, Every time I see this guy, when he gets off his tractor, <laughs> he says, when y'all going to cook the ducks? For four years, all I've heard, when y'all going to cook some ducks? Is this guy real emotional about this? Uh, yes, he is. Which ducks are he, is he talking I about? I don't know. Maybe the ones that we have for the children to look at. I have Real no long. idea. So I thought, well, you know, and now I'll tell you in advance, Bob, before we even get to next week. What's I, up? I hate ducks. I have never liked duck. Well, Johnson. Don't like duck now. Uh -huh. But uh, next week, we will, you know, go ahead and do it. We're going to do duck recipes, so we'll be ready. Well, I can tell you one thing. What? It's greasy. The duck is Ooh. greasy. It's worse than a goose. And you know what a goose is like. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe it's been a long time and you've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, these things are done. They really are. They are done, and they're real lovely, and I think they're going to be real interesting. Well, That's I always can't wait to get you over here and allow you to try some of this delicious anchovy dressing. I just feel like I've forgotten something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> anchovy <laughs> dressing. Oh, boy. You know what? I think I hear someone calling. Do I have to have the anchovy yeah, dressing? Yeah, I'll put it like right here on this. Just, just that great. Thank you. And now let me give you a little blue cheese across your mouth. Well, I don't mind the blue cheese, but the anchovy dressing, you can go light on. Well, here, Johnson, let me spoon feed you some of these fine beans. <laughs> oh, they're too hot, I can I know tell. they're going to be good because I've had a, a simula recipe at home that I do, and people love it. it. It is right good. It's a little tart, a little snappy. But uh, sometimes Johnson's a little tart and snappy, mm -hmm. you know. All right, here well, goes with the anchovies. Mmm, boy. The only good thing about this now, is... Now, wait a minute. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't tell them the only good thing. You're just trying to avoid the issue. You don't really want to eat that, do you? Well, I'm going to try it. All right. So, but the good thing about it is you can't see its tail. <laughs> or its head. <laughs> or its head and its eyes. Or other parts. When it's all ground up. The naughty part. Well, it's good. I like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Very light on the anchovies, which is wise on your behalf. Otherwise, I'd be... Oh, those beans are tasty. A little warm, a little hot mm -hmm. in my sensitive well, I have mouth. Well, try your other one here. The, uh... What do you... What do you... What do you huh? Centerpiece. Oh, the centerpiece. Oh, the lovely centerpiece. From... Uh, oh, for, for heaven's sake. They can't make up their mind. Well... This is what, real talk thing. about what? Oh, the, the centerpiece. Isn't that pretty? Mm hmm It's real lovely. <laughs> <laughs> who, who sent it? Um, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't get it. Neither do I. Oh, it's Caesar with imported anchovies. Oh. A blushing tomato. A blushing tomato oh. on it. <laughs> yeah, hey, did you see this? <laughs> oh, give me a... <laughs> it's been a rough day all the way Well, we're around. going to continue to graze, and we hope you'll come back next week, and we might. <laughs> I like these beans. I like these beans. Goodbye. They're good. Bye.